I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychHacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is why men like younger women. So in some respects, the answer to this question is fairly obvious. Men are primarily visual creatures, so they sort for good optics. And beauty, from the perspective of evolutionary psychology, is a indicator of reproductive capacity. That is, it generally correlates with youth and fertility. So to the extent that men have a biological imperative to reproduce successfully, it makes sense that men would be attracted to younger women. You don't need to listen to this episode to know that. You already know that. Today, I'm going to discuss another powerful and often neglected reason why this is true. But before I do, please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. It takes less than a second, costs you nothing, and it's how you can support me and my mission to deliver free, high-quality content to the world. So thank you for your help. So there's another really important reason why men like younger women. It's staring us all in the face, but it almost never gets said. Here it is. The reason why men like younger women is that women like older men. If women did not like older men, it would actually be very, very difficult for men to like younger women. I suppose they still could like them, but it would just be a recipe for frustration, a kind of torture, and we actually don't see that in reality. I don't believe that there is a culture on this planet where the average age of a woman exceeds the average age of a man for a first marriage. So in all places, in every culture, around the world, throughout history, women select older men to partner with. And why might that be? Well, what are some of women's selection criteria for partners? They'd like someone who is confident and competent, who has wealth, who has status, who has an emotionally compelling lifestyle, who knows how to communicate, who is emotionally stable, and who is generally an all-around successful guy. Okay, so who is more likely to have all of those things? A 25-year-old man or a 45-year-old man? Obviously, the 45-year-old man is going to have significantly higher levels of all of those things. The 25-year-old might be fun and sexy, but those aren't the primary criteria upon which women sort for their partners. Okay, so the flip side of this is the understanding that a successful 45-year-old man is sort of analogous to a fairly attractive 25-year-old woman. Most men will never even begin to approach the optionality enjoyed by a beautiful 25-year-old woman, but if they play their cards right, they might get the kind of optionality enjoyed by a fairly attractive 25-year-old woman. And it makes sense that when he's at his peak, when he has the greatest optionality he will ever have, he will move toward the women that, all of the things being equal, he's most attracted to. Because that's what the attractive 25-year-old women are doing. They're at their peak, and they're moving toward the men that, all of the things being equal, they're most attracted to. In our culture, when we see a big age gap in a romantic relationship, we tend to think that it's a skeezy old guy who has somehow manipulated an innocent young woman into a relationship. But it would probably be just as true to say that it's a skeezy old little girl who is creeping on some established successful man. It's the other side of the same coin. So we either need to think of this as creepy in both directions, or even better, Stop being so judgmental. Seeing what people go after when they have the most options is our truest glimpse into what they really want. It is what it is. What do you think? Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm and see the About tab for more information on donations, consultations, and sponsorship opportunities. Thanks for listening.